Hello folks, this is uh, 2016 May June paper 4-2 and the question number is 11. 11 it is concerned with uh, the rectifier so it's, it belongs to the chapter of the alternating current. So a bridge rectifier contains four ideal diodes A, B, C and D, A, B, C and D as shown in figure 11.1. The output of the rectifier is connected to a load L, L of a resistance 2.4 kilo ohm. So this is equal to 2400 ohm, 2400 ohm. On figure 11.1, mark with the letter P the positive terminal of the load. So uh, we have to remember that in a bridge rectifier, rectifier, the positive terminal of the load will be at that point where, where the end sides of two of the diodes meet the positive terminal the positive polarity of a voltage or current will be at that side of the load which is in contact with the the connection point of n sides of the diode so that's why the point the point which is in connection with the two n sides of the diode is this thing so it should be positive if so then the other end will be negative and this should be in connection with Connection with that point where two p sides of the diodes connect. So that should be that point where two p sides of the diodes connect. So this point is that point where two p sides of diodes connect, and this is that point point where two n sides of the diode connect. So positive negative. Now number B, the variation with time t of the potential difference v across the input to the rectifier is shown. So it shows this voltage here. Calculate the root mean square current in the load. So first of all, we have to find the voltage RMS. So that's equal to V peak by root 2. And the peak value is 6. So it is 6 by root 2. And this value comes to be, if I do it in the calculator, its value comes to be around, uh, yes, 4.24 volt. V RMS. Now, now I RMS should be equal to equal to V RMS. It's okay by the resistance given, and that's equal to 4.24 by R given is 2400 ohm, and its value comes to be around uh, it is 1.8 into 10 power minus 3 ampere. So, or you can just say just say 1.8 into 10 power minus 3. So now uh, these things to be pretty simple. So now in the next page we have we have the potential difference across across across. Uh, the load is to be smoothed using a capacitor. So this should be smoothed using a capacitor. On figure 11.1, draw the symbol for a capacitor connected to produce smoothing. So it says we have to draw a capacitor for smoothing purpose. So the capacitor should always be in parallel to the load so that's why we draw capacitor like this so this is uh, uh, simply uh, we can use a symbol C but it's not said there so that's why we aren't using symbols and it should be across so across means that it can be here and it can be here as well across does not mean that it has to be at the front so it is to be parallel so it can be here and here as well no problem number two the minimum potential difference across the load L with the smoothing capacitor connected is 3 volts. So with the capacitor connected, the minimum should be 3 volt. So on figures 11.2, 11.2, this is the this is the diagram. Sketch the variation with time t of the potential difference across the load L. So we have to sketch the variation of the voltage with time uh, after being rectified and even after being uh, smoothed with the capacitor. So first of all, what you have to draw is, first you have to draw the rectified output. So it should be like this. So at this point, it will be exactly like, like this, so reverse. Uh, so, so, so the voltage will be, so it also, it will be the same, it goes here, it goes here. Yeah, so the reverse part of this will be somewhat like this. Reverse part will be somewhat like this. You have to use pencil. I am using a ball pen so i may not be perfect but uh, it's your job and duty to make it perfect like this and from here like this 
so this is the uh, full wave full uh, fully rectified wave pattern so it reverses and reverses now I have to smoothen it and when I smoothen it the lowest voltage is uh, it can have is 3 volts so 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 3 should be from here so this is 3 this is 3 this is a 3 this is a 3 and 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 this is 3 so from the top from the tops uh, the it can decrease only up to this point so let's draw it so from here it has to come here and the version should be such that a capacitor should discharge somewhat like this that means at the upper part it is concave and the lower part it should be convex so that's why it must come somewhat like this so from here from here it must come somewhat like somewhat like somewhat like somewhat like like this slightly 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 concave upward then it goes like this it rises rises again it comes like this so slightly 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 concave upward it rises rises like this and again the same process here same process slightly 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 concave and again rises and again slightly 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 concave upward and again rises and again falls like this so this is the variation of the smoothed output after rectification so what we have to remember is if it is not smoothed it varies from 6 to 0 since it is smoothed it varies uh, from 6 to 3 only